All right, we have our last fight of phase one. The queen. We are taking out and replacing a bunch of people here, so bear with me. Pretty much using the same lineup as we did. We are just not bringing a lore bonus for our tanks. No lag. Okay. So the placement here is pretty important. First, what we end up doing is placing our Olag back here. What this ends up doing is making that front tile um, negated to any damage from Falling Stone. I'm going to place our Vortex here facing down so he can heal everybody. Our Vortex is a HP-based healer, so he has no problem dealing with the stones, and you'll see that here once we place our second tank. Now while we place Olag there, usually you're going to have a squishy DPS that's kind of facing this way and you just want them to, you just don't have to worry about them. So that's why we're going to place them here. Now as far as our Medan, I like to place her here because it's only going to be our Olag and Medan taking any sort of hits from Olag's Falling Stones. We're going to place our broke here, up here. This is kind of important, just a little bit, not a whole lot, but why I place them here is because we want to use our Zilla to behind him because um, she's going to be one of our main damage dealers for him back there. Uh, also placing them up here so I could possibly place Hex a little further down if I wanted. We are going to alt our Comet. Looks like he's doing pretty well. We do not need the, do not need the alt him right now. So we're going to wait and do our Zilla 2 first. We're going to go ahead and alter Comet now. We're going to alter our Zilla 2. Now the Screech is the poison. We're going to cleanse that ASAP. There's our cleanse. Zilla 2 is cleaning it up pretty good there. We don't want to put our Hex down yet or anybody else. We want to keep uh, as much damage out as possible here. Or basically as much damage uh, from not being dealt from falling stones or poison if it does come out at a bad time. Just like right there. Now here, we're going to alt our broke here. We want him to take almost no damage because we do have two units being hit by the falling stones here. Now... With our little guy over here, we want to kind of kill one of these guys quick. What I'm going to end up doing is because Zilla 2 is going to take him out very quickly. I'm going to place him down over here. First damage guy, just use Twin Fiend because he's helping our Zilla 2 under Hex. We're going to go ahead and uh, we'll just keep him down. Um, now here, the Screech came out. We do not have Medan's alt up ASAP, but we'll use it now. Twin Fiend's going to die. Go ahead and pull him out. Now here we're doing all right. We do not need to alt. Comet should be doing pretty well on that side. Dila 2 should be taken care of the top. Now here is good. We saved our alt from Vortex because we do have a lot of damage going out. We're going to go ahead and alt our broke here. We're going to alt our vortex now. Comments up was alt. I haven't seen how long, but you do want to pop that a little bit quicker to take care of that right lane. As soon as that ad dies, if you'd like, you can go ahead and pick up your old lag for not having to worry about as many people taking damage. You could place another damage down if you want to take care of them. Thing is, I know the queen is coming out here very soon. So here, don't really need to alt anybody. 
here we have both the stones going down. We want to alt our Medan for better defense. We're going to alt everybody. We need to live through this. The reason why I save these two damage dealers is just to kind of nuke the queen down here quickly. Uh, Olag looks like he is being smacked, so you could put a DPS down there if you want. Doesn't really matter. We see the screech going out. We're going to save it. Because now everybody has a poison. Put everybody down. Again, miss Comet's alt. Not a big deal. We can pull our Oleg. We can pull our Comet. That lane is totally useless now. So with this, you could put Brokir back if you want to. I just use Zila too, so that's why I place him forward. 